Princess Beatrice honored her grandmother the Queen with her choice of wedding dress and tiara. Buckingham Palace has released new photographs of the wedding of Princess Beatrice and property tycoon Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi. Beatrice wore a vintage Boda Soie taffeta dress in shades of ivory by Norman Hartnell trimmed with Duchess satin and encrusted with Diamante, which was on loan from the Queen. The dress was remodeled and fitted by the Queen's senior dresser Angela Kelly and designer Stuart Parvin, Buckingham Palace said. Beatrice also wore the Queen Mary diamond French tiara which was also on loan from the Queen and even worn by the monarch on her wedding day. The Queen has shown an act of solidarity by loaning her dress and wedding tiara to Princess Beatrice, a royal author has said. Royal writer Penny Juna told the PA news agency, it's really touching that the Queen showed such solidarity with her, especially with the tiara that she herself was married in speaks volumes. I think it shows how fond her grandparents are of her, it's really heartwarming. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, added, I think it's a tremendous compliment to Beatrice and the whole York family that the Queen would lend one of her vintage dresses. It's charming, something mothers and daughters do. It says a lot more than anything that this has happened. The Queen described the private family occasion, attended by the Duke of Edinburgh, the couple's parents and their siblings, as very nice. Speaking to fundraising hero Captain Sir Tom Moore and his family, after she had knighted him at Windsor Castle for raising millions for the NHS, she said, My granddaughter got married this morning, both Philip and I managed to get there, very nice. The ceremony is believed to be the first time the Queen and Philip have attended a family gathering since the lockdown. Eugenie and husband Jack Brooksbank are also thought to have been among the guests. The ceremony was held at the chapel regularly used by the Queen as her place of worship when she is staying at Windsor. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said, the couple decided to hold a small private ceremony with their parents and siblings following the postponement of their wedding in May. Working within government guidelines, the service was in keeping with the unique circumstances while enabling them to celebrate their wedding with their closest family.